Hi hey everybody, welcome back to Honestly KDP. My name is Laura. Today I just wanted to go over this free tool with you because they have some new features. I have mentioned this in other videos, but I love img.com. Um has these new features, which is upscale image and blur face. So the one that I have been using um, is the new upscale image feature. Before the upscale me dot media page I was using, and I swear it was letting me, you know, upscale as many images as I wanted. Now, um, now they've changed to where uh, they only let you do 10 images per day. I usually have you know, a lot more than that, that I have to upscale. And the big jpg.com, I did subscribe to them in the, the medium plan. I think it's called pro or whatever. Um, and you get to upscale a thousand images and you can bulk upscale, which is really convenient. Uh, the thing is that I had already used my thousand upscales before the month ended. So I found that I love IMG also has an upscale feature. Now you can't bulk upscale with their free plan, but you can do up to three images at a time, which is at least better than one at a time. And there doesn't appear to be any limits on how many you can do. I just used it yesterday and today to upscale about 50 images and, um, it just kept working. So I don't think there's a limit. Um, so all you do here is just select the images that you want to upscale. I guess I'll just upscale these Halloween images. I'm not sure if I'm even going to use them, but just for the demonstration. So um, these are just some Halloween backgrounds. Now it does give you the option to do 2x or 4x. I have been upscaling everything um, from coloring pages to clip art to images for a children's book. It is important even with your coloring pages to upscale those because I noticed going back and looking at my first coloring books that I created, um, I've had to unpublish them because really looking at the images on the inside pages, they were really pixelated and poor quality. Um, you don't want that. so. Um, here it just has a slide bar that it'll show you and then you just hit upscale and it's going to download a zip file um, which you can then unzip and then drag the images over to Canva or PowerPoint or wherever you're creating your book. It does take a couple minutes but that's just a new free feature that I wanted to share. So that'll automatically download. If it doesn't, you can just hit the download upscaled images. Um, the other feature that I use quite a bit with this is just the compress image. If you have files from Creative Fabrica or other places that are too large, they won't um, like maybe their um, composition images with animals and flowers or whatever the size is just too large then you can compress it right here so that you can upload it into canva and use it um, and then another thing since i don't know if i have already mentioned this in another video this is another site that i use so first i upscale it then i take it into canva i edit it as necessary and then I take it over here. It's um, clidio.com, C-L-I-D-E-O.com uh, slash DPI dash converter. And here, um, if you choose a file, I'll use this one. Just go to 300 DPI. Um, Right, and then you would just download. That's it. Those are the two tools that I wanted to show you. Um, the new feature of Upscale and I Love IMG and then the DPI converter here. Um, both are free. And uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.